4 million people quit their jobs as of April 2021. According to a report by Monster.com, 95% of workers are now considering changing jobs and 92% are even willing to switch industries for the right position. As most companies are pushing for their employees to get back to the office, employees seem to have a different agenda. Hi, I'm Cherry. I quit my job and retired from corporate altogether this year, and I want to take you behind the scenes of why so many people are quitting. First, let's talk about the employee experience. There are seven areas of focus when it comes to evaluating the employee experience. Engagement. Are you actively engaged or just waiting to reach 5 p.m. every single day? Purpose. Do you feel like your work has meaning? Do you feel like you're contributing to something that matters? Belonging. Do you feel included in the company's strategies and plans? Optimism. Do you feel happiness at work? Productivity. It's not just about getting work done, but being productive can also make you feel worthy in the company. So do you feel productive? Meaning. Do you understand and align with the company's mission and connections? Do you feel supported by your coworkers and managers? When employees answer negatively to seven areas, they are more likely to leave the company. When I went through this list, I just remember shaking my head to all of them. No wonder I quit. During the beginning of the pandemic, unemployment was at its height at 14.7%. There was so much uncertainty in the air that even unhappy workers tend to choose to stay just to wait things out. Fast forward to today, it's been a year and a half since the beginning of the work from home situations. As employees are given the opportunity to work from home, away from the office, they're starting to have more freedom and flexibility to reflect within. Imagine getting two hours of the daily commute time back. That is what many of the employees got after working from home. We then use this newfound time to reflect on whether or not we really want to continue working at this company, at this position. The newfound time can also be an opportunity for us to explore new hobbies, interests, or even income streams. According to Salesforce, pandemic entrepreneurs started more than 4.4 million new businesses in the U.S. during 2020. That's the highest total on record. The pandemic has also opened up new opportunities and possibilities. In the past, working from the office is the norm. Working from home is the luxury. After the pandemic, working from home is the norm, while working from the office can be a slow transition for many companies, especially those in the tech industry. For example, Facebook and Twitter now extends its work-from-home policy to most employees. There's also companies in more traditional industries like finance, like Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, that encourage going back to the office because they believe that working from home and having virtual meeting rooms cannot replace in-person meetings at the office. There are also companies like Amazon and Microsoft that promote a hybrid model which schedules you back to the office on certain days and flexibility to work from home on other days. Now, instead of just following the norm of working from the office, employees now get the choice of working from home, hybrid, or working from the office. Even if your current company does not offer working from home as an option, you are also free to move to other companies that do. After serving my friends and ex-coworkers, most of them seem to be enjoying the work from home situation due to the increased flexibility and decreased distractions. In the past, many people complain that they cannot get any work done because they always have coworkers stopping by their desks and having long chats that disrupt their work. Now with working from home, that is no longer an issue. Of course, there are also a select few extroverts in my friend group who hate working from home because it does not allow them to get their daily dose of social interaction. How about you? Which group do you fall in? In addition to that, another added layer to why employees are now quitting is due to the increased workload but stagnated salary. Stagnant wages have been a major problem for decades. To put things in perspective, in 1968, the federal minimum wage was $1.60 an hour. In 2021 dollars, the equivalent of that is around $12.38. But instead, our current minimum wage is only $7.25. So even before the pandemic, workers were already being underpaid. And with the pandemic, workload seems to have risen while pay has been stagnant. Many of us who experience working from home can relate to this. Workload did not seem to decrease during work from home situations. Sure, now we don't have to do the daily commute anymore. But it seems that the daily commute time has just been replaced with even more work. 
If you are unlucky and have a supervisor who is low-key micromanaging, you might be stuck with even more work than before working from home. You are pretty much expected to be on call 24/7 now that you're not in the office. There's also an outburst and complaints about burnout in the banking industry. A notoriously grueling job has become even more challenging during the pandemic, says junior bankers, given the lack of camaraderie and networking when working in isolation from home. Back in October 2020, Bank of America also pulled the plug on pandemic pay, even with the financial giant earning billions of dollars in profits that year. Finally, after getting angry complaints, big banks like J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, UBS, and Morgan Stanley are upping their pay from around 85k to 100k and above. Now to my third point, which is working from home can increase people's quality of life. In the past, people have to live in specific cities or specific areas in the city due to their commute to work. Many of my coworkers had to move to expensive parts of LA, like West LA, to have a shorter commute to work. Now with work from home, daily commutes are no longer a thing. People can choose to live wherever they desire, even move back in with their parents to save money. If you live in dense cities in LA, you probably also notice that the traffic has gotten a lot better. I notice an overall higher quality of life due to the time and money I save from not having to commute to work every single day and the lighter traffic on most days. The increased flexibility, money saved, higher quality of life. Increased time for self-reflection and newfound hobbies and income streams are just some reasons of why people decide to quit their jobs in 2021. If you're curious what's my reason, I also made a full video right here. Now I'm curious, what is your reason? Let me know in the comments and let's talk about it. See you in my next wealth-building video.